What's rolling, brawlers? Evil Hunt here with all the cheese and your things. TCG back again with another Bakugan Pro Review. Here to review one of the Wave 3 starter packs. And today we have the Darkest Drago Ultra. As you guys know, this one is pretty, uh, it's alright. It's decent. As you know, it has a uh, Pyrus Villo in it and a Aurelius Hyperion, Harperion, whatever, whatever, Harperion. With all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into this review of our Drago starter pack. All right, brawlers, and as always, we start with the course first. And up first, we got a Green Fist plus 100 B, uh, Aquas, and Pyrus plus 3 damage. A Red Fist plus 253 damage. Red Fist, obviously. Red Fist, yes. A plus 6 damage, Red Fist. A plus 5 damage, Red Fist. We got a plus 150 B. Plus two damage, Green Fist. And last but not least, we got a plus 150B, plus two damage, Green Fist. Like, nothing but fists in this starter pack. So, we'll move on to uh, this, obviously, but uh, we don't care. You guys have seen them um, all the time. I'm not really too worried about them. They're not that big of a deal. Uh, those who are worried about them, sorry. But hey. Here is Triple Blazing Barrage, which will cost for 200B, 2 damage, and a scan effect. We got Searing Strike for 2 cost for 400B. And then last but not least, we got the Fusion Thunder Run for the 6 cost, 1500B. And those are our action cards, as you can see. Up next, we'll show up our Bakugan. We got the Aurelius Hyperion for the Red and Green Fist for 800B, 3 damage, and a built-in reroll. Let's fix that up real quick. Up next, we got the Pyrus Villoke for the Red Fist and Green Fist for the 600B. 600B on the Red Fist and 2 damage. And last but not least, we got the Dragonoid Ultra for the Red and Green Fist. 900B and 2 damage. So up next, we'll show off our Bakugan. Here is the Aurelius Hyperion. We'll go ahead and roll him out real quick. Let's try to get that Red Fist. 3, 2, 1. Bakugan Brawl. Boom! Got the Red Fist very, very, very quickly, so at least I was able to do that. Yeah, here he is in all his glory. I don't really show him up that much. Okay. There he is. Up next, we'll show off the uh, Pyrus Villoc. Villoc, Villoc, Villoc. I don't know. Tomato, tomato, right? We'll go for another Red Fist. Three, two, one. Bakugan Brawl. Boom. And there he is. In his beautiful red paint. Yep. Just a quick look at him. And then last but not least, we got the pirate, or um, sorry, the darkest Dragonoid. Very edgy, right? Well, as you guys know, Dragon Ultra, quite uh, easy to close. Just boom, 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 and then boom, and there he is. Awesome, right? Yeah. I guess we'll go for a uh, green, <laughs> the green, since it's there. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, who's on? Brawl. There he goes. He kind of like drew, like jump very far. So, unfortunately, he does that. I guess we can go ahead and move on to some thoughts and opinions. Usually, I like to start with the worst parts first, but hey, I never really know how how to, to say stuff like this. But uh, these these action cards are good. Well, only the blazing barrage is good, but the rest of them just oh, why are they so trash? We just I get it that like translation is a thing, but hey, come on. Like, don't even, don't even have them with them if you're gonna, you know, use them. But that doesn't take away from the fact that these cores are probably the best cores that, in, like, have come with a starter pack in a once in a blue moon. Like, once in a blue moon do we get such good cores. Like, how, what? It's honestly refreshing to see this many good cores almost, even though, like, the, the fists, but still, they're the best ones besides the gears. And, hey... That's pretty darn good. And we got the Aquas and Pyros plus three damage, which is, a, you know, a well-needed fit filled spot. But hey, let's go ahead and move on from this. Obviously, you guys know that some of these Bakugan, like Hyperion, we're not even going to really talk about it. Is that worth even mentioning? Nothing. The only two are Drago and Villa. Like, honestly, we're going to talk about Drago first. Why? Because Drago, honestly, although it's good, Although he's 900 base, 2 damage, and he's got bad core lineup. I guess the only thing that's bothering him is just that. But granted, if he's on, like, a magic, he's 1550, which is good. If he's on, like, a 
I don't know, he looks, he's 15, and like, what, you may get damage reduction, but hey, that's just, you know, that comes with helixes, but that is why he's not that good, I mean, he's darkest, you know, cards are darkest, but I don't think the darkest cards are going to save him, there's so many better darkest options, darkest Falcron, Spartillion, um, I mean, Rapirians really want to go to, uh, Armored Alliance and stuff, but hey, I digress, yes, he sucks, let's move on to Vilok, obviously, Powers of Vilok, I mean, Vilok, Vilok, whatever, uh, 600 B, to base, 200 damage, I mean, Green Fist, Red Fist, is bad, you know, bad core lineup, it's, it, 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 what do you want to say, but it is 600 B boost on the Red Fist, so you guys know that that's 12 off the rip, and then if you do have the 250, that is actually, for once, included in this starter set, that just means you're going to be at 1450, which is kind of better than for Rascal, because you're getting 5 damage, so... Um, as you know, Pyrus can be ran with many other things. You got Dan, Super Fuel combo with, you know, Sunk Fire stuff. You got anything from Hyper, Pyrus, or I forget what that cool card is, but, like, Empower cards. You got cards that can, like, pretty much, like, burn energy with the Ventus and Pyrus cards. You got Darkest and Pyrus, Rapid Fire, of course. Damage Winds builds. You got the new Pyrus and Aqua stuff to get you that draw power, like Liquid Fire Plate and Raid the River. Um... Of course, I believe this is the reason to buy the starter set. Um, it is a better for Rascal. It's probably the best Pyrus out of this wave. And honestly, best Pyrus kind of so far, besides Geoforge. Well, we're going to like not talk about Geoforge, I guess, maybe not in another like separate video. But um, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Is this guy even worth like, you know, like buying? Are these guys worth buying? I know the starter set is a little weak. You got good cores in it. But hey. Those are just my opinions. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Of course, you know, follow your boy, of course. And obviously, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notifications of all the competitive reviews we're doing. Because obviously, this is a competitive channel and I'm trying to bring you the strategies to get all the stuff right. You know how it is. So with all that, keep it rolling and have a wonderful day.